Hello guys and welcome to another one of my little videos. In the last video I told you that I was gonna be moving house and in the comments some people asked me if I could make a video about my Star Wars home video collection. And I figured the move was a perfect opportunity to do this because normally uh, my home video collection is sort of intertwined with my action figure collection so it would be difficult to uh, just take take it out but right now my entire home video collection is here in this bag so it's a great opportunity to show you guys uh, all of the uh, Star Wars home video releases in my collection. We will be moving more or less uh, from the oldest to the newest that I own. So the oldest Star Wars releases that I have are these. These are the first Czech home video releases. These have the uh, original Czech dubbing and they came out in around 1993 or 1992 something like that. So here's the first film front and back Empire and Jedi As you see, they're using the classic original poster art. And yeah, the Czech Republic being a post-communist country, I've talked about this before, uh, we only got the Hollywood films after the revolution in 1989. Uh, so all these big Hollywood blockbusters dating 50 year, 40 years back uh, were only hitting our theaters and then the video stores around 1990 and uh, 1991, 92. So that's when these came out. Actually, what's interesting about these uh, is that uh, they are the original covers, but the cassettes inside are just copies. Uh, because I bought these from a video rental store that was closing and they always, they always had two copies uh, of the box but not necessarily of the cassette uh, because they had the boxes on display uh, in the store and then when you rented it they would give you uh, a, another box that they had uh, and they already sold the cassettes and all they had was the empty boxes so for a very little price I actually bought these empty <laughs> so I, I don't actually have the cassettes uh, the cassettes in here do have the original uh, check dubbing. There are copies of those uh, cassettes that were originally in these covers, but they're they're not actually the uh, original cassettes. <laughs> but it still ma makes for a nice display piece. Next up, we have the 1995 releases, uh, and I have I have quite a few of those. Um, first, I have the check releases um, and I only discovered that these existed like a couple of years ago. Uh, funny thing about this, the, these have a different check dubbing than these. Uh, this this check dubbing was created, I, learned, I later found out that this check dubbing was created specifically for these. Um, and it's the same. It's the same Czech dubbing that was later reused for uh, the 1997 special editions, uh, which is why uh, some of the lines that were changed in the special editions weren't changed in the Czech special edition dubbing. So here's Star Wars. <laughs> Empire and Jedi. What's kind of funny about these uh, is uh, I'll show you in a second. 
here is the German version of that same release. And I don't know how much uh, you'll be able to see this on camera, but... Uh, Star Wars. Empire. Jedi. And as I was saying, uh, what's funny about this is that, look, <laughs> they cheaped out on the Czech version. And as you can see, uh, they look pretty much exactly the same, except the German ones, as well as, uh, as I later show you, the British ones, have this sort of metallic quality to the to the names of the films uh, both on both on the front and on the sides as well whereas on the Czech ones uh, it's just a normal no, normal color print now these uh, German copies are another case of where I only have the empty boxes and not the actual uh, cassettes themselves. Uh, I got these from my uncle who comes from uh, West Germany. Uh, so they did have Star Wars when he was a kid. Uh, and he, he gave me these but he kept the actual cassettes. Then, then later when he was getting rid of his VHS collection, the original box that these came in sort of disappeared and he never found it. The box set that these came in uh, actually uh, also had the uh, Amazing Creatures Return of the Jedi documentary. And it's a real shame that the box set got lost because it's a pretty awesome and rare one. These are actually the only pictures of it I could find. And a good job I did too, because I was starting to think uh, I just made it up in my mind. I would dearly love to get a copy of this set one day, because it's a great childhood memory of mine discovering it in my uncle's VHS collection. Then the next one I have is this uh, other uh, 1995 German box set. Uh, these these have the plastic boxes and they were in like a big hard cardboard box set. Uh, and this one uh, was probably like the cheaper variant. Uh, I got this from uh, my uncle as well, uh, who got it for me from his friend who was also getting rid of his VHS collection. Um, so here we are. And inside, as you'll see, the cassettes look like this. Black on the back. And I think, uh, it, it, although it doesn't seem to say anywhere on the box, uh, I think these are actually white screen releases, whereas these, are def these were definitely full screen. Um, I think when I put the, put these in the in the VHS player, uh, I think they were widescreen. Next, we have these uh, British 1995 uh, releases, uh, but these are actually uh, widescreen releases, so they they look a little different. Um, they have the main characters and then underneath you have the uh, a white frame to show you that this is a widescreen release. The back of these looks the same, more or less. Although interestingly, on the British release, even these even these frames around these pictures are metallic, whereas on the German release the movie title 
is metallic, but the frames are just uh, normal red print. So yeah, those are the 1995 releases. Uh, but then I also have a rather special copy of the 1995 release, which is these, which is this super class executor set. I am going to briefly open this up for you, but uh, I already made an entire video about this. Uh, so if you want to see more about this in detail, uh, I, I suggest you check that out. It's got these matte paintings and uh, posters here's actually a flyer that shows all the content it has the complete script <laughs> And of course, the cassettes themselves. Plus, underneath, this set also contains the uh, from from Star Wars to Jedi documentary. I consider this set a treasure. So those were all my pre-special edition VHS releases. So I will end part one here uh, and we will continue with the special edition VHS releases in part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also check out some of my other videos. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by becoming a patron or donating directly to PayPal. I really appreciate the help. Thank you guys. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and may the Schwartz be with you.